this is Patricia from the Bedford Public Library, here with some tips and techniques to help you use our online library. Did you know you can access consumer reports online from home for free with your Bedford Library card? We're going to take a minute in this video and show you how to do just that. So to start with, I've already gone ahead and opened up Firefox and navigated to the library website, which is bedfordnhlibrary.org. Once there, you can go all the way over to the right to this eLibrary tab and click on Databases A to Z and Articles. If you're on a cell phone or a tablet, this is going to look a little bit different. There's a drop down menu and you'll need to scroll all the way down to get to the Databases link. So we'll click on that and that'll bring us to our Databases page. Everything on our Databases page is in alphabetical order to make it easy to find. So we can just scroll down and there's consumer reports in the C's. So if we click on the title, that will bring us to a login page. And once here, you're gonna enter your username if you've created it, or you can use the barcode off the back of your library card to get your library number. Then you'll enter your password or PIN. And if you've forgotten your password or you never knew it, you can, can use this link to reset it over email or you can give us a call at 472-2300 and we can reset your password over the phone. So I'm gonna log in. And it may take a second for the website to bring you to Consumer Reports. Sometimes this runs a teensy bit slow. So just be patient and we will get there. All right, so here we are on the Consumer Reports website. And you can see they have some featured articles, and also um, some of the more popular product reviews down here as well. So now if you wanted to search for reviews and ratings on a specific type of product, you can actually search for that right up here in this top bar. And we'll just do a quick search for dishwashers. And that will bring you to a landing page where you can read the overview, ratings, recommended purchases, and of course the Consumer Reports buying. So when you're done, don't forget to go up here to this little person icon and sign out. So that's it, and I hope you'll enjoy using Consumer Reports. You can always email or call the library if you have any questions. I also hope you'll check out some of our other tips and techniques videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.